Hi everyone, today I will be reviewing a Camtree MB20 Carbon Fiber Matte Box. I don't usually use matte boxes because I really like lens flares and things like that. But recently I've had a music video shoot which needed a very nice, glossy, clean look with strong contrast, very nice colors and no lens flares. So even though I really like lens flares and they add a lot of character, sometimes they can be a bit distracting and they do lower the contrast of the image. So simply, it wasn't the look that was needed for that particular project, so I just couldn't do without a matte box. The MB20 that I've used on the shoot and that I have here today came with my Hunt FS100 shoulder rig, which I've reviewed separately, but you can buy these matte boxes on their own for just under $250, which I think is one of the cheapest matte boxes at such spec. Just a few years back matte boxes would cost a fortune but even now for a full size carbon fiber matte box with a swing away arm, full set of flags and even its own pelly case under $250 I think it's a pretty amazing deal even by today's standards. So before I go into actual matte box let me quickly show you the case that it came in. Now my one houses both matte box and the follow focus so it's quite large. The case that houses just the matte box is probably a little bit smaller. Coming back to the actual matte box, like I said, it's a full size matte box with a swing away arm, full set of flags, the top and the side ones, two 4x4 filter holders, a set of donuts, and this is pretty much everything that you need from a matte box. The matte box itself is made out of carbon fiber, which is lightweight and at the same time very strong material and it does look really cool as well. The flags are made of aluminium and they do the job really well, they don't flap about from wind, the top one will not drop onto your lens in the middle of the take, they stay in their place really well. So let's take a close look at the filter holders. The front one is fixed in place so it's perfect for NDs and other filters that you don't need to rotate. The back one can be rotated around so it's perfect for something like a polarizer or any other filter that you would wish to rotate. The matte box is highly adjustable right there on the side so it doesn't matter what kind of rod system or what kind of camera and lens you have, you can adjust it up and down depending on your needs and preferences. The last feature I want to talk about and the one that I'm always looking for in a matte box is a swing away arm. For me it's an essential feature because I hate the idea of having to take off the whole matte box every time I need to change the lens. Having this feature on my recent music video shoot made a big difference because I was shooting against time, so I needed a very efficient, quick workflow. So by swinging away the front of the matte box to the side, you can get to the front of your lens very easily. You can then either take it off very simply and put another one on, or you can clean it and you can also get to the back of the matte box to change your donuts easily. So all in all, it's a great feature. And if you don't have a matte box yet, I would highly recommend getting a matte box with such feature. The matte box itself done exactly what it needed to do. It protected the lens from sun, especially when shooting in late afternoon sun, when the sun starts to set and you need some protection from the top. So this pretty much concludes my review of the Camchi MB20 matte box. If you are looking for an affordable matte box that looks great and has plenty of great features, then I'm not sure that you will be able to find anything much better at the same price. I hope this video has been useful to you guys and I'll see you in the next one.